afternoon everyone how you doing so i'm just going to show you a quick top up haul um costco and woolies i sent matthew out to get a couple of things but of course he came back with more than just a couple of things <laughs> so um yeah i'll uh show you show you what we got all right so this is just what we got at um costco so well we i said matthew i asked him to get some kind of dinner rolls and that and of course we usually get these in the supermarket um and it worked out cheaper he said to get this big pack than to get them at the supermarket so yeah the main thing we went to costco for was for the eggs um and that and something i'll show you in a minute um you got the the meatballs again the angus beef meatballs <laughs> some milk and this book which we bought he got um i asked him to look for a book or something for because yesterday was his nephew's first birthday so he ended up getting this is a good one it's got like, like little texture things on on it too so he can it'll be good for him there so he's got that and it was only five dollars 79 so pretty proud of him um some corn so there's really only the three things i really asked him to get at costco but then he got the other three things um so yeah that was just costco and it was 50 something dollars for that <laughs> yeah i know expensive but hey um and then this is what we got a woolies you got these um strawberry milkshake paddle pops which hadn't seen before <clears throat> so we got those he likes his halo top um cheese strawberry cheesecake ice creams then he got, he got some chicken garlic kievs now we went he went um last night to get some a different woolies um because our closest woolies their deli section they've completely cut it's a quarter of what it norm what most other ones is so they don't have these in the deli they don't have them anywhere they've got hardly anything in the deli so if we need deli stuff then we'll go to a different supermarket but there's four garlic chicken kievs there and we went to he went to a different one last night but didn't realize till we got home that he got the ones that have ham in them and he doesn't like ham so he got these at a different woolies um he saw these were marked down so he got two packs of the heart smart beef the extra lean mince um he said the cat treats were on special so he got two lots of those bugs loves the temptations ones and also we needed potatoes <coughs> so that is what he got so i'll give you another quick look of what we got here um i'm not sure how much it was for the stuff at woolies but yeah i think it was like 20 something 20 to 30 dollars something like that so yeah there's the costco stuff and the woolies stuff uh, so thanks for watching everyone. Um, I didn't show normally my, uh, my helper. He was here. He's just over here <laughs> He just wasn't watching what I was doing today. Normally he does so uh, Yeah, that's just our quick top-up haul um, So as I said, there were three things I asked him for to get at Costco and The main thing I asked him to get at Woolies was the potatoes. So everything else was extra on his uh, part so that's just a little top-up haul we've got enough meat in that for things and yeah so that's it hey everyone how you doing so i haven't really ugh, my hair's a bit manky but that's right i'm not going anywhere <laughs> i haven't really um filmed much <laughs> lately i've just been having a little bit of a break but yeah Today I was just getting some things done. I've just booked an eye appointment because I desperately need new glasses. So I'd do that and uh, I did a Stampin' Up! order because when you're a demonstrator you earn certain points and that 
and by the end of next month you've got to use them up so by the end of October every year you've got to use them up so I just used mine so it's like $53 worth of stuff for free so that's all right um so yeah and I also got a couple of cards in the mail today because with our group we do um what they call racks r-a-k um random act of kindness and those who want to be involved we just have this group where we share our address and someone wants to send you a card they can send you a card so I got two in the mail today um so I'll show you this one I got one the other day too but I can't remember where I put the card but this is the first one I got I won't open the inside because it's like it's a message to me in there so first there's this one and then this one this one has nothing on the inside um there's nothing on the envelope to say who it was from it's just a blank card from someone but it's still nice of them to send it so that's what i got so uh yeah i'm going to go get some more stuff done and i'll chat to you later <laughs> hi everyone how you doing so uh yeah, we've got a little grocery haul, um, another top up, <laughs> just got a few things, um, a couple of things I wouldn't have gotten but because I've marked down, you'll see what they are in a minute. Um, a couple of other things that we got as well that we just picked up and because we just felt like steak for dinner and we didn't have any so we went and got some steak but we had to go buy bread anyway, we're out of bread so we figured we'd go to um what is it the uh to baker's delight and then we'll go to the supermarket while we're there so uh yeah i'll turn around and i'll start you with um the bread from baker's delight <clears throat> so we have two loaves we have one that we keep out and one that we put in the uh freezer so you see it from baker's delight it's a more healthy one low gi sort of low carb one so that's what we've got it's in there. Um, so <clears throat> I first we went to Woolies. So I got more sour cream because we're going through that a lot. <laughs> Matthew got his two favourite um, dips. Um, I got these because Matthew just likes a little treat in his lunch for work. And so I thought, well, I'll get these. Um, that way that's like over two weeks worth. Um, but even longer because he doesn't work every day so they'll probably last three weeks um, maybe four so that's fine there pink lady apples I didn't like the look of the loose the loose ones didn't look as nice as these ones in the pack so I just got this one kilo pack now I wasn't planning on getting these juices but because they were marked down to $3.30 less than half price their use by date is tomorrow but what I'm going to do is put them in smaller bottles because I've got smaller bottles there and then I'm going to freeze them um, so yeah that's why I've got two of those um, yeah then Woolies we also this stir fry beef was marked down so we got that need mushrooms because I'm making a mushroom sauce to go with the steak tonight these little protein smoothies for the cat that Matthew picked up um, we're getting low on paprika so I've got some smoked paprika so these are uh, hoisin chicken kebabs were on special so I've got a pack of those to put in the fridge I think I've got another one in the freezer as well I got them last time they were marked down um, Matthew won't eat them but that's fine I eat them I need some more salami. I finished that today on uh, what we have. We had pizza, homemade pizza, so I need to get some more of that. Double stuff Oreos. It's a guilty pleasure. I love them. And we saw these, their new limited edition white Twix. So I thought, well, it comes in like the two little bar things there, so we'll try it each. I'm not really a big white chocolate fan, but I'll try it. <laughs> So that was Woolies, and at Woolies we spent uh, $61.35 at Woolies. Um, yeah, so and then this is Aldi. 
Um, we got apple blackberry pies for dessert, and I also got some of these southern blue whiting bites. Um, celery. I got some sprinkles. <clears throat> um, my favourite little mini chocolate bars and we also got this Kenny's 360 calorie tub choc chip cookie dough to share um, we were going to get one each but we thought well if we don't like it either neither of us like it then we've wasted two tubs <clears throat> and then this is the steak we got the porterhouse steak these are worth five dollars each so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight I'm not sure exactly how we spent how much we spent because I don't know whether a receipt is it might be Matthew's pocket but I'm trying to think if that's $10 there 10 15, 20 we probably spent about 30 maybe less than 30 and then we also went to the reject shop just to have a look wasn't planning on getting anything but I had these like this last time I love the butternut snap chocolate bars with a chocolate block so I grabbed one of those, I think it was like two bucks. Um, yeah, it was. That was two dollars. We got this for Bugs, who happens to be over there. He was sitting up here, but because I was ignoring him. <laughs> but this goes in his stocking for Christmas. He gets a new one every Christmas. And this is just like one of those, it's a, for bottles in the fridge. The shelf thing, so it goes over the shelf. Um... That was only one dollar so i thought well we'll get one of them and see how it works and if it works for us so that's our shopping haul um there's mr bugalugs you gotta make your appearance buddy hello <laughs> so yeah i think we all up we probably we spent less than a hundred dollars so um between the three shops so that's uh yeah that's what, no four shops so we would have spent still probably would have spent even including the bread we would have spent less than 100 i reckon so yeah because if you it's cheaper for us to buy two loaves of bread every two weeks than it is to buy one a week because it's five dollars a loaf or if you buy two at once it's nine dollars so we just save that extra dollar um so yeah it just works out cheaper that way for us um and we don't go through it very quickly really so two weeks three sometimes those two loaves can last us a month it just depends how much bread we eat which isn't as much as we used to because we used to go we would used to go through just the two of us two loaves a week so we've really cut back uh so yeah well i'm gonna put that away i did do a um i will show you actually we did a swap around with uh, a couple of cupboards so i'll turn you around and show you here in our big pantry um this shelf was our pasta rice and noodle shelf but we've changed that so we put like mainly condiments and that and things in here um because we've moved all our drinks out into the laundry out here on this drinks trolley um for the moment we've freed up our uh, cupboard in here that was our drinks cupboard so let me move this trolley out of the way um, and so now this is our pasta rice noodle sort of thing so all these were actually up in this cupboard here which was taking up space for other things we wanted to put up there non-food things so we thought well why not just put it all in the one it's what we have the most of we'll put it all in the one cupboard and yeah it's in there i want to get a little right shelf riser thing so that we can use all the space because there's like a lot of this space that's not being used <clears throat> so i've got to get 
and I've got a little sh shelf thing to go in there <coughs> as well. So that's what we've done. And to think all this pasta and rice and stuff was squeezed into this small shelf here. <laughs> so yeah, we figured we'd just change it up. It'd be easier. And that way the drinks are easier just to put in the fridge when we want to put them in there so but other than that nothing else has changed really so yeah go start eating some cereal I think see what's good and what's not um it's got some things in here mainly breakfast things in here except like I've got some flour there and some little icicle things there but <coughs> And that but it's most and breadcrumbs but it's mostly cereal and breakfast stuff but yeah I just wish what I'd love is another one of these shelves so I can put an extra shelf in so I've got more space because this one you've got, you've got a huge gap there that doesn't have the shelf and it would be so much more easier to have that extra shelf so I don't know what we're gonna do I'm thinking of maybe just lowering this shelf and then uh, lowering all the shelves and then getting one of those like I want to do for the pasta thing, those riser things to use the space <coughs> for different things and that um, so that they're easier to see because we do have the stuff up in this cupboard here too. But it's hard because the stuff up the top really we don't really get to because you don't really see it as often we don't look up. So I'd love to be able to move some of that stuff over into the other cupboard. Um, yeah. And then it'll look, be easy to get to things and see what we've got. And uh, organise it better. Because um, get some of these things off there. Oh, that's one thing we didn't get. We forgot to get that. But anyway. All right, guys. So I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Comment. Whatever. Press the bell notification so you're notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye.